You are back with Teacher Jen, and this is our handwriting and art. This is the book that we are going to use, and on this subject, you need your crayon, your colored pencil, and your eraser. We are going to practice tracing lines. If you are ready, let's start together. Come on! This pattern, we are going to continue practice with circle. And we are going to practice writing all the lines that we have been practicing for the previous topic. Now, let's start. On this pattern, we are going to trace a circle. But this time, we are going to go up and then go down. Start where there's the triangle. And you go up making a curve line and then you close the circle one more time make a curve line then go down and close the circle I want you to finish writing with these patterns as well now once you're done if you can see on the bottom part there are still patterns that you need to trace so let's do it together Start where the triangle is, make a curve line, then go down and close. One more time. Go up and then go down. Finish all the patterns that you can see on your book on page number 14. Once you're done, you can bring out your crayons and colored pencils as you are going to color the cake. I will use paint on this picture. You can use your favorite color as you are going to color the picture. Once you're done with this pattern, we are going to go to page number 15. On page number 15, you can see all different lines. We have the standing line, the slanted lines. So let's practice tracing. Start from this pattern. Start from the dot, then go up. Start from the dot and go up. On this pattern, the dot is up, so we have to go down. So go down. Go down. Next, we have the slanted lines. So, look at the dot. We should start where there is the dot. So, then we have to trace the broken line. Trace the broken lines. And then, the next one, it is still slanted. But this time, the dot is on top. So, from the top, then go down. From the top, then go down. Move on with the next topic. This is still a slanted line. Just trace the broken line. And you have to start from the top. While on this line, you're going to start down. And then you have to go up. Go up. I want you to finish tracing all of these patterns. Kids, once you're done... Please take out your colored pencils or your crayon as you are going to color these pictures. I'm going to color on this part. I will color this plant. So maybe I will use color green. Alright, there you go. And then I will use another color and this time I use color orange to color the flower pot. I want you to color the flower nicely to make your workbook more beautiful. There you have kids. You are able to finish the patterns for this week. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something. If you had fun learning with me, I want you to see you on my next video clip. Goodbye!